Okay. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He's now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. And my cat is trying to eat plastic. And a madness. <clears throat> if I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who, in his callousness, can remain sane to this to the hideous end. H.P. Lovecraft. It's my boy. It's a shark. And Smith. <laughs> He's like, ooh, shark, too stinky, faint. <clears throat> Game saved. Why, thank you. Well, thank you, game, for telling me that. Okay, it looks pretty good so far. I think it runs okay. looks pretty good. I'm not quite sure how indie this game is. You know? Counter darkness. Light up items to interact with them. Cool. Does it run out of stuff? When an object can be picked up, press E. Bolt cutter. Okay. I like how it holds my hand so far. Wait, but what about the first door? Let's go back. Hell yeah. Do it. Give me the good stuff. Okay. Whatever you say, dude. Oh, it's the same door. Well, mystery solved. Okay, now I'm noticing how tired I actually am because my eyes are hurting already from the turning of the screen. My eyeballs have been hurting all day. Glad I took that nap, though. What a putrid offering. Blech. Don't fight. You have been chosen. Run. Are you gonna chase me? What's up with this music? But perhaps you will attempt to change your destiny. Hmm. Tentacle dude. So this is like a glimpse in the future? I really need new glasses. I hate whiskey. The other ones are just... The new ones are just too heavy. They give me headaches now. Really sucks. I hate spending so much money on them and then... Don't drink. Spending so much I money on them and then... You can't wear them. Mm, this is what I picked up. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay, but I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. <clears throat> Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable, unfathomable, unfathomable ancient depths. 
What nameless creature is calling me? Oh, there's stuff here. Mmm. Eloquence, spot hidden, strength, medicine. Medical knowledge. Increase your chances of determining the dosage of a drug, making a diagnosis, or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Wow. Investigating talents. Increase your chances of understanding past events by analyzing analyzing a crime scene. Oh, cool. I'm an amateur. Oh, I'm professional in strength, though. I'm a strong boy. Novice in the occult. I'm guessing I don't have any points yet. And something new, mental trauma. Because I saw this dude in my dreams. Hmm. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Investigations agency. That's where I work! After the Great War, I decided to set up in Boston where there is no lack of work for guys like me. One small time case follows the other. Adultery, settled scores, disappearances that are not actually disappearances. The old office couch is less comfortable than a real bed. And I should probably get rid of these empty bottles, but this place is mine for the moment. Cool. I have a lighter. Lost battalion. Can I? Yeah. Okay. Just want to get rid of the exclamation mark in the menu. Stop! No! No music! Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. <gasps> Give me a point. Huh. Hello? Pierce I'm speaking. listening. Are you Edward Pierce? Private investigator contracted by the Wentworth Detective. No, I am Gabu. That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. Hello, I'm Mr. Pierce. In charge of investigators over at Wentworth. I'm calling Middle button click for later. Files. Thank you, Nanashi. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to His voice reminds me of the yeah. vampire dude. Wait, what do we do? Allocate your character points. How many do I have? Oh, I have 8 CP. Uh, spot hidden. Oh, that was only one? Nice. Oh! Hey, Rude! What's up? Thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. Thank you so much. Maybe do that. Maybe that's a little bit too spread out. Mm, these both need to... Psychology, then. Validate. Yes. Thank you for this information, Mr. Pierce. Our files will soon be up to date. And on a related matter, may I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contract. The progress. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Well as Pieces of popcorn in between my teeth. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency. Show Don't yourself like worthy. Mr. Pierce, you still... Oh, I hung up. I did a mic drop on her. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, look, my name is on the glass. That's fancy. Oh, that's standard sound. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. Well, hello to you two. What the fuck? You're free to leave anytime, sir. 
Do you know to whom you speak? Don't you know Stephen who Webster, I am? Industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you Someone is asking for a punch in the face. It means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The Why would I know? Yes. Everyone knows her work. Hmm. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and you. Simon, my grandson. Hey. I can't do anything for a woman. Thank you so much for the 11 dead. months. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. He didn't even cover it up walking outside. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all Some of the painting in this, paintings in this game yes, are wicked. Yes, please. Yeah. All right. I'll look at your picture. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches Dark of the Hawkins water. family. Rather thin. The family, or...? Shipping label. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address. Warehouse 36 Darkwater. It says, that the, says that a fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. Police decide on a domestic accident, but they nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? Article written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a policeman, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They live a recluse life there with their only son, Simon. Okay. Hi. Hello, baby. Its strange beauty isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? <laughs> Still. Um... Something that's not right with the story. Investigation professional. Can I do that? Her husband was a big deal on the island. Hey. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. He really sounds like the dude from so Vampire. I am aware of that. Jonathan I Reed? There is more to this case than just an accident. Okay, can I just go by all the... Where does she live? Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. Hmm. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had... Visions. Everyone knew that. Fancy waistcoat. She never would have heard yeah. a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. Um. The sender's label mentions... I don't Warehouse think they got the wrong guy. I'm pretty confident. I'm a right. good personal it investigator. Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. It is Go the same voice actor as the vampire guy? Find what? Really? Warehouse 36. Huh. That's everything I, I need. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. 
Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from dark water right before her death. I quite Correct. enjoyed Vampire, and thinking back on it. about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. Hmm. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. He has a Thank nice you, voice. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. <laughs> Whatever, Something's dude. Quiet, but it's not like I have a choice. Dark water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some a good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. Speakeasy? The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case. But when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Quiet. What do you want? The lost battalion. Holding your position and a lot of vocal orders. fry, yeah. That is courage. It's a really nice voice to listen to. I used to be an avid reader. I used to be an avid reader. I know. The Wentworth Agency doesn't so attract top-notch cases. Learning of Medicine, Volume 1. Dense work aimed at interns and young practitioners. First volume lists all illnesses known in the civilized world. Details the symptoms and suitable treatment. Okay, so because it's green, does that mean I got points now? Item obtained. I took the book. <laughs> Quiet. What do you want? <laughs> Walking all over me. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. Husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Woman run runs off with her girlfriend. Uh huh. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. Hmm. But I've never heard of it. According to Where this do? book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. Shunned. Darkwater Island has been inhabited since the 14th century and still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. Don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tumultuous story of their small land off the coasts of Massachusetts. Ooh. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Okay. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. Nothing here? Whiskey? They sure are trying to tempt me with drinks. Okay, I think I got it. Let me just put on a hoodie. Because now I'm getting cold. And then uh, we're going to head out. <laughs> Quite to me, like, what are you doing? Why are you moving? What noticed what, Nanashi? <laughs> You're the bit boss? Oh, yes, you are. Yes. Putting on a hoodie before heading out. Yeah. I'm I'm going for full immersion. Ah, that's nice. Okay. Oh, my phone finally charged. I've been I I I kept like walking around with my phone so I wasn't charging it enough. So I kept like charging it like five percent and then walking off, then ten percent and walking off. Pierce took the Hawkins case. Cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and address a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. Hey, big boss. Both of my cats are here. I'm so happy I'm back. Enter madness. We're entering madness, kitty. This is madness. This is 
Kalau ketemu. Hey Marking J. Hey Henry. Thank you, Kam. Here we go. So this game was about eight, eight hours to beat, eight, nine. Cyanide Studio, seven to eight. So two, three streams, depending on how long I can go. I like the music. Ah, it's good to be back though. I missed this chair and I missed my setup. We're almost there. Thanks, dude. Ah, oh, Nanashi, thank you. We should play the old one soon as well, the bat one. I think I can get it for Xbox or something. Need to do a little bit of research on which version is the most stable. Oh, it's giving me Ellen Wake vibes. That boat's going way too fast and stopped way too abruptly. <laughs> Stay on board. That boat was just like. Oh. This guy is coming to unload. You don't want to just go on land. The Gog version is patched. Ooh. Welcome to Darkwater Island. Interesting. Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Oh, I don't have to do the walking. Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer. Oh, fruits. Holy shit, you scared me. Thank you so much. First donation of the month. And I wife, checked uh, my stream Sarah last Hawkins. day. I was like, zero dollars. Whoa. Uh, nice young woman. <laughs> my monthly protection money donation. <laughs> thank you, fruits. You know what? Go ahead. Oh, have a Stephanie, drink thank you. Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. Bar. His As bar me, holds a surprise. you'll find me at the harbor master's office. Ah, I'll buy it at a high the price. It's family that brings you here. I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. How, where can I find that pile of documents of his? Should I follow him first? Talk to Fitzroy. Prohibition. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine. We're in. Go to the bar. <laughs> the bar. Nice. The fuck? That's hey, not necessary. Be careful. The fuck? Cause he spit on the floor. Ooh, I like her. Ooh, cool lady. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Yeah, that's what I am. It wasn't me. He wasn't looking for it. The guy didn't show respect to you over doing it, I'm sorry. Pure instinct. I behaved like a Han. And I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right it's to cool, answer thank or you. Not. Hmm. 
you know where this go straight is. to the point. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams. Oh, Scully, the new boss. Screams. And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Um, no prohibition? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Wait, alcohol's Our illegal? Our source of supply would Charlie, like me to thank you. betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Mm. water. I'm not drinking. Sarah Hawkins. It's a wide the stranded whale. Let's what just can you get tell to the point. We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Prohibition means alcohol's Never outlawed. I see. Prohibition yeah. era. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Um. It's true that they were strange. Not speaking. It's not speaking ill if it's true. I like that. Her one. vision. Was it so terrible? The way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? Hmm. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? Tortured. Yeah. Well, it wasn't normal. I mean, for a young woman with a child and all that. We saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves, who can paint such things? Is that how she sees the world? So they made you feel uncomfortable? You need to see them for yourself. Make up your own mind. Sure. I've got what I need. Anything else? Mm. The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months whalers. and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and <coughs> flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. Um, was that it? I think so. That'll be all for now. <laughs> These dudes. Do you like our song? No. <laughs> We're true sirens. <laughs> we may not be pros, but we give it it's all good. we Thank got. you. That's true. It's Thanks a so reminder much. of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. Uh, what's I've the song about? This song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. Miraculous catch. Legend. Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Uh, hey, Lyria. Where's the proof? We're the proof. Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right <laughs> the behind dude in the front. You. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. Okay. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could Kitty's say that, cute. yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. Oh. Didn't get that massage in America. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. <laughs> so long. <laughs> there they go. Hmm. Ooh, tattoos. 
can hear things and voices whispering. He's into we'll something. Its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its Elgernon. own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Hmm. He said, you have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor, what did he say? Wait, what did he say? My God. You say... Sorry. <laughs> didn't mean to. I didn't, I didn't drop no Eve, sir. Wait, there's talking again. Who are they talking about? Let's talk to the mysterious lady. What you looking at, stranger? How to stranger? She can certainly put them away. Nothing at all. A woman like you are doing in a place like this. Nothing I'm just passing by. Sorry. Let me drink, stranger. Hmm, I like her. I told you to beat it. Oh, that was it. Hmm, locked. I am so freaking excited to go back to bed and <laughs> sleep more. <laughs> okay, I think that was it. The miraculous catch. Apparently, the most significant event of the last 80 years. I'm sorry, I have quiet now. Yeah. She chilling. The Skilla returns to port to save Darkwater from famine. We had given up hope. The crew of the Skilla of what remains or what remains of it returned to Darkwater port late on Tuesday afternoon. Locals immediately rushed to the docks to welcome the last whaling ship on the island. People were amazed at the sight of the unbelievable catch the brave vessel had on board. What kind of deal did they make? Of a size that went beyond that of formidable toothed whales, the cetacean? that is already being called the mirac Miraculous Catch covered the whole deck and parts of it were hanging over the side of the ship. Surviving sailors told a frightening account of their perilous catch, but also of its meat unmatched in its quality and plentiful nutri nutritious benefits. There's no doubt that the immense size of the whale will allow numerous inhabitants of dark water to feed themselves, bringing an end to famine from which part of the island was suffering. Uh, warehouse for rent. Mr. Marks! Putting his warehouse up for rent from June for fishing, workshops, or storage activities. You can contact him via your favorite newspaper or visit him on the docks. Your favorite newspaper? Um, to celebrate the return of our brave whalers, all the staff of the Stranded Whale invite you to an exceptional and free tasting event. Come with your family and friends to taste the miraculous catch. Each person will leave a bottle of oil, so don't hesitate. Oh. Leave with a bottle of oil. Cool. My um, so where did I come in? Here? Okay. The fur, ba fur, ba fur babies are doing very well, yes. The cats are super happy that I'm back. Um, we've been cuddling a lot this afternoon. And I just basically unpacked, did some laundry. What else did I do? Fishing equipment. <laughs> Could do with some rust remover. I went through emails a lot, a bunch of emails and getting codes and stuff. Because nowadays a, a lot of um. A more prosperous era. Nowadays, I guess this blackboard hasn't been wiped for more than seventy years. <laughs> nowadays, a lot of um, developers, game developers, they. Um, send you an email and then it's like instead of giving you a code right away they're like if you're interested you have to reply and then we'll give you a code which makes sense um, but so I'm still waiting on codes it for some things it beached at the entrance to the harbor okay I know I put in um, I'll check out the dude oh this might be a good book yeah take it um, I know I put in Call of Cthulhu again for Monday, but I might switch it up to The Hog, actually. Um, True Fear, Forsaken Soul, Part 2. I'm really excited for that, and I think it's nicer if I do that, I can switch it up for YouTube as well. 
Um, Forte, thank you for the eight months. Oh, and Salav, thank you so much. Wait. Salav gifted to Kalium. That's it. Sorry, I miss. I read it too fast. Salav, thank you so much. It's so nice of you. And Forte, thank you so much for the reason. Yeah, true fear. The second chapter is finally here. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman, Cat. The terms of our agreement are clear. Keep your men under control. You cannot afford to provoke us. No need to answer this message. Just make your payment to the carrier. Should I be careful talking to him if that progresses the story? Should I maybe... <sighs> there was something else he said. There's like, you can check out this and this and then come to me for like a stack of documents. This is on. Bradley. Ah, I got him. I'm looking for this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah, and so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's PD. not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Ed Pierce, oh, no, PD. No. I'm not getting That's into cool those way games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. Hey, Morgan. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Something don't real bad. back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. So the fishermen oh, yeah. want to put the fish back? He's going to get us into trouble. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Something real bad. Don't put that beast back in the water. You, you can interact with the fish. This one? They can't understand. Oh, yeah. Damn stupid idiots. The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would. Ah, oh, I should have made tea. You can't understand. You're not sailors. <sighs> My throat hurts a little bit. They don't want to put the fish back, the police do. Oh, the other way around. Tea break? <laughs> Should I? I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. Popcorn. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. Join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. That's all I'll get from them. Only a few dates are still legible. 1819, 1907, and partial date. Rest of the documents blacked out. Who would want this information to be hidden? Wait, that's all? Oh, where'd he go? He was so quiet. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hardworking lives of my sailors. The fights at the stranded way. Did you look upstairs? Oh, Even not. the antics of these war rats don't escape me. Hey, Rich. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Unlocked answers. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? That makes sense. I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Yeah, I don't Indeed, have any milk either for tea. ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Hmm. Okay. 
Understood. There's a dude standing there. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? No. Is this a game for you? <laughs> this is serious business, man. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. Mm. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. Okay. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Mm. What is Hotel Chocolate something nice? Now I want to check it out. What is it exactly, Hotel Chocolate? Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. <sighs> have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. So much dialogue, yeah. Uh, it's a little bit indeed, slow. I right. like it though. I mean, I'm in the mood for a little bit chill. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the Sleepy sea. Sleepy Gabu. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I was think it that just was a chocolate? Mistake. I thought it was like Who a hotel, an actual hotel. Who caused those wounds is no longer in these waters. <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. Mm, okay. I found a threatening letter signed by a certain cat. Hey, Muppet! What? What's up? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Oh, his voice is so heavy. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Sure. Ah, oh, I gained one CP. I have two CP! There. Hmm. Yeah, so these you need to find. Okay. That one needs four, so I'll put it in that. Validate. Yes. Game saved. Thank you. Um, who's that dude at the end there? Let's go talk to him. This is our ship. Oh, I can't talk to him. Oh, he just fishing. I hope he catch something. Oh. Good luck. Welcome to dark water. Don't forget to look upstairs. Oh, I totally forgot. Thank you. Thank you, Skull. Let's go check it out. Hey, dude. Let's go check here. <laughs> Stuff. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Hmm. Peck leg. What a macabre souvenir. Hmm. Macabre. I think that's it. Okay, that was that mystery solved. Hey, Pixel! Hey! How you doing? Oh, where'd these guys come from? We really We're only no just started. Home on our own island. Calm down. I'm not worth the effort. 45 minutes in. I told that flunky that he'll see what a real sailor has in his belly. If you continue like that, everyone will see what you've got in your belly. Ooh. I hope so. I hope they don't forget the lesson. Me? 
I'm not scared of some girl. I mean they're going to cut you open, you idiot. Calm down. We accepted a case of a girl and her family dying and she left a painting. And we're now just we arrived at this island, Fisherman Island, to look into it. That's basically all we did so far. Excellent. Hey Inez! Thank you so much for the raid. Hi dude. I think we can talk to the lady again now that we know more. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't oh, hang around so here cold. unless you want trouble My with the My cat bootlegs. left me. <laughs> For the first bit where you have more than one way to solve it, one of them is a lot more fun than the others. Oh, okay. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. If you want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. Okay. I shall take my leave. Thanks, dude. And then this is conveniently blocking the way. We can't jump, can we? No. Ooh. Ooh. I want to raise this. The spot hidden hidden what? Fuck. I didn't read it. Let me let's me detect stuff. What? No wait. No. No, I changed my mind. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. Ooh. Is that icon behind me? Does that mean anything? Welcome to the hog section of COC. What, really? Oh, that was weird. Ah, quiet is back on my lap. Oh, nice and warm. Ah. See the icon in the lower left corner? It shows there are hidden objects in the area. You have to. They have a green pickup icon if you see them. Oh, so it's just around here somewhere? Okay. I could use this old winch to lift the grating. But it's been completely taken to bits. Okay. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. This dude's voice. Oh. Talk to me more, Jonathan Reed. Green! Lever. A lever! This handle will be perfect for the winch. Perfect. The icon goes dull green when you've collected them all. Huh. Okay. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. Well, that icon is not super important a for whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the, the bar stream. is true, it's a thank real you. fossil. Fossil. Nya, nya, nya. That might be it. Let's see if I can use that. Hmm, I still need more. I haven't found everything yet. Can I can't go on. Uh, um, hmm. No. Nah. Light. You need light on for some objects to be. Oh. So I need to find the lantern. Take this one. There was one just standing here that I couldn't take with me. Um, there. But I think the dudes own it, sort of. Oh, I have a lighter! Oh god, that's enough? I totally forgot that was a thing. They they never explain it to you. Hey, Adlan! What's up? How you been? Oh. This is enough light?
I forgot that that was a thing. That not everything lights up. Hmm. Not seeing much though. The icon... the question mark disappears as soon as I walk outside, so it's definitely in here. I didn't finish this section in the first playthrough and went the boring way for it. Oh. So this is the fun way? Mm. Oh. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Ugh, I love his voice. Fuck. Makes me want to play vampire. Looks like everything is in its place. All that's left is to try to turn this handle. You got this, dude. Is the whole Damn. thing gonna break? I broke it. No. Oh. No. Oh. Well, I tried, I guess. Hmm. Well, well. Oh, Jesus. A little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the Hi. crazy idea to come hey, to Hey, Freeman, my turf? thank you for the three months. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? I had no Your idea. Your turf? That's news to me. For a guy who has no idea. You've been doing a fair bit of poking around. Ooh. My men saw you staking out the Hawkins warehouse. Is that against the law? I'm no idiot, detective. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. Okay, so you're your cat. Name cat. What of it? Maybe we can come to an understanding. Maybe. Oh, or maybe baby. not. Oh, Jesus. The hell? The balls, huh? Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Okay. Well, we're definitely on the other side of something. Hey, baby. Quite, it's like, I can't find the right spot, but I do like how warm you are. Oh, I see. You're on this side now. Okay. Hey, dude. Another fishing dude. Monkey, see you later. Hmm. Oh, I didn't think I would do that. Oh, I got the skills. There. Nice. Oh, that helps. That's nice. Hello, old friend. Oh no, bottle of liquor. Well, maybe it'll come in handy later when I go crazy. I just can I can just like take a shot of something to straighten me out. Lock picking at 100. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of Skyrim. St. Brendan. Patron saint of sailors and travelers. Mm. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in. It's, it's a unitology. From Dead Space. <laughs> Quiet. Why are you on the move so much? Skyrim reference indeed. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I definitely know. But, I mean, just, just doing that makes me think of Skyrim. <laughs> Maybe I can climb up here. No? 
Hmm. Liquor can also be useful as a bribe. That's true. I think we did that in uh, We Happy Few. Let's talk to this dude. See what he wants. Where do you think you're going? Um, must get into this warehouse. I'm not here to hinder your work, officer. Edward Pierce. Molotov, everything, Private yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're all a little on edge today. What are you doing here? I'm investigating the death of the Hawkins family. Darn it. Why do you want to drag up all that stuff again? My investigation has led me to this warehouse. That case was closed months ago. Oh, his teeth. Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? Mm. You and I are on the same side of the law. <clears throat> oh, yeah? You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? <coughs> Forget it. Oh, my voice. My voice hurts. I need to. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? I need to make some tea with honey, Not much maybe more than tomorrow. What everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. <coughs> they were all burnt to death, right? Don't want to get up sick. Up at their place. Can you imagine? The whole mansion went up in flames. The five days Don't I can get stream, it into your head I get to sick. Go wandering around up there. It's dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas, and the accident has affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No, he's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. Hmm, that's it? These two dudes don't look shady at all. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? Do we what? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. Oh, the graffiti. I respect your beliefs. Our beliefs? You mean you don't believe in God? Uh-oh. That's irrelevant. That's what you think. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Hmm. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. Go fight. What brings you to dark water? That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all townspeople do. St. Brendan. He protected whalers and fishermen like us. Until Ew. those assholes defaced him. I mean, it doesn't change what he does, does Peculiar it? Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. Isn't that a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do anyway. There's not much work around here. Fitzroy gives us a few chores every now and again, but since the whaling station shut down, ain't a lot of jobs left around here. So we drink. Okay. The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From whom? Life's I a wonder. beach when you're incredibly they drunk. They really don't have a choice <laughs> anyway. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken sailors. If only they would kill each other. Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We didn't tell you a thing. Nothing at all. Mm. I think I got it. I've taken enough of your time. We'll see you later. Sure. If that's what you want. Should we talk to the dudes? Think they'll beat us up again? Tell me. No, if it 
gets out, I'll have serious problems with you know who. I've. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Okay, does that help me? That some things, some entrances are unguarded, is that it? The music really reminds me of Dark for some reason. Have you seen that show? It's on uh, Netflix. Time travel shit? I really like it. <sighs> Sorry about the yawn, I just... I just flew in back from LA this morning, so... It's uh, I, I, I am rightfully tired this time. Super excited to sleep more. I love that show. Yeah, it was fucking amazing. Yay, Rowan! I really liked it. Okay, there's nothing to do here. Um... So there's supposedly... I share in the yawns. <laughs> Yay, Maya! <laughs> How many people yawn with me? Yeah. Bloody nine! Thank you so much for the resub. Oh, half a year! You got your bronze! Thank you. Try to bribe the guards? There was no option to do that. So, I don't think so. It would make sense, but. Hey, Rich! Thank you so much for the 17 months! Thank you! You haven't spoken to the guards yet. Oh, I just thought they would just fight me. Came looking for trouble again, but he won't try again anytime soon. We gave him a good hiding. So you said to yourselves that after such a feat, you could abandon your post. It's just a little drink. We taught those guys a lesson. You return right after. I'll talk to the two dudes. Yeah. Don't put that beast back in the water. You. You shysters? Come on, you could tell me who's this guy. No idea. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? Hi. We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Ooh, test eloquence. My eloquence is not that high, though. I went to see the statue of St. Brendan. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Mm. So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? <clears throat> Everybody knows us on Darkwater. I feel I've stronger. just arrived. <laughs> Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site, and we let no one enter her property. Okay. Cap, she's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss. Yeah, she says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy! You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. That was me. I hope you had a good <laughs> dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> Damn. What the fuck? She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. Hey Eldritch, we're about no, an hour in now. No, it's very simple in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your uh, record. Ah, Chell, thank you. 420, Blaze. No, we don't give a damn about you. See you later, Chell. Thank you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Okay. Let's try it. I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh, yeah. 
And why didn't she say anything to us? She no sent time. me to see who's filching her stock. I don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. Hmm. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Oh, that's the same. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Hmm. I bid you gentlemen. Okay. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Ooh, keep talking, Jonathan. You again. I told you to beat it. No Hi. need to get worked up. Mm, oh. Can't even do anything. Oh, Fox! Thank you for the gifting! Thank you for gifting to Zel Zelazo? Zeliazo? What do you guys think we need to do, Les? It's getting really hard for me to focus, because, like, it's a lot of listening. I love it so far. Like, I really like it. I like the investigative part. I like the atmosphere and the people, but holy fuck, this jet lag is killing me. Is there anywhere to climb up? I can't even jump, so probably not. I don't think that's going to be a thing. Get inside the warehouse. <sighs> you can talk to Cat as an option. Talk to the drunks again. If you overhear their conversation, you can convince them you know Cat and they'll let you through. Well, that's what I tried, but... Everyone here needs the Snickers. Oh god, if I had Snickers, yeah, then we'd be good. Cashier, it's your birthday tomorrow? Happy birthday! Try getting the sailors to fight the guards. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't upgraded my eloquence at all. Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I'm a new friend? I owe you. Yay! You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Oh! <laughs> I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. It's something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? Damn. She badass. Truth. I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly. But it's also really stupid. I like her outfit. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. That'd be so cool to cosplay as. If you want to survive us. more than a day Fuck. in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. Hmm. I need to get into the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? <laughs> I'm very serious. A whole family died in a fire. And I've got reason to believe that there's still more to be said on the subject. Well, I see you're serious, mm -hmm. to be honest. As long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. Here we go. But I'll go with you to make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. We're on the date. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. Oh. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, yeah. you'll be indebted to me. Oh, no. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Oh, Think about my it. lady. I help you. You'll owe me a favor in return. I'll go on a hot date with do you, you if you want. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. <laughs> Nobody questions your authority here. Oh, no, I, can look I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood <laughs> This is just all he that sees. Dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. <laughs> they revere their brave captain as they do their Ooh. old statues. She's sexy though. Look so at that outfit. Really like compliments her waist. Shit. And nobody cares. Can I close and it? The police? They do nothing to stop you? The local cops? The cops she a hot lady. Else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley. 
I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity. The call of Batulu. Eyes <laughs> are up here, Detective Gab. I'm sorry, but look at it. It's like a perfect peach. You have to look at it. She has a nice model. Oh, now the dudes are gonna be like, oh fuck, they do know each other. Oh, they're already out of the way. Power woman who's hot it's and she fine. knows it. He's with me. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm with her. <laughs> Everything's just peachy. Oh shit, Lyrium. <laughs> Oh, that was the good right angle there. She's stuck. Be a gentleman and move that for me. Sure thing, lady. <sighs> you want me to open this too? No, I can't. That's all on you. Wait. I thought you owned this place. Why are you lockpicking it? That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Huh. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Yeah. See you later. Ugh, this place stinks. Hmm. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? Someone was taking care of wounds here? Oh, what? Enter a reconstruction scene. Hold two. Uh. Are we doing it now, or...? <coughs> Someone treasures this crumpled picture to the point of sleeping with it. Hmm. It's on the same compound, so she's not letting people in. I see. Whoever hid it here seems to worship Sarah Hawkins. What hmm. just happened? Did I imagine? Imagine what? Oh! Holy shit! Arachne, thank you so much for the tier two resub or it sub. Smells as bad as it looks. Oh my god! Welcome. Thank you so much. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Well, maybe the painkillers cost them all the money they had. What happened here? He punched the mirror. Hi. <laughs> Can't sleep. I know how that feels. I think that's it. New clue memorized. Consult diary. Uh, kitty, why are you on the keyboard? Does mommy need a break from the game? Is that what you're doing? Oh! She needs cuddles. Kitty's like, love me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. She missed me. Nanashi, thank you. Must donate for cuteness. Yeah, she cute. She knows it. Oh, I get so many kisses. So many kisses. Yeah. 
Barbara Sarah, thank you so much for the sub. Ah, for Fox. Thank you, Fox. Thank you so much. Oh, we got it to 525. That's awesome. Thank you. They need 10 days worth of cuddles. Yeah, that's true. Hey, baby. Hi. She needs the attention. Oh. All the leaks. The purrs. Oh, can you hear it? She needs to cut a little bit. Put the mic closer. Come for the spooks, stay for the purrs. <laughs> ASMR cat, yeah. Hi. Are you happy now? You got your attention? Now she discovered the salty popcorn hands. Ah, oh, Arachne, thank you. Didn't let me send a message with the sub. Oh, yeah. Sister Jordan recommended you because I love horror and I have been watching you on YouTube and just wanted to say thank you for helping me through a very rough spot in my life right now. Oh, thank you so much. Your YouTube videos help a lot with taking my mind off of stuff. That's awesome. Praise Cthulhu. Yeah. Thank you so much, though, for the sub. It's really nice. Thank you. Jump, a jump, a jump. She cute. I'm not even using headphones and I can still clearly hear the purse. The microphone's picking it up very well. It, it can take it up to an hour, um, Arachne, for the server to show up. Because it syncs once an hour. Okay. Uh, oh, that was a nice tiny little break. I've only been streaming two, hour, two hours and 12 minutes so far. And I'm really struggling. Fuck. I really wanted to go long, but I already knew, like... Fucking just landed in the Netherlands like this morning. I'm just super tired from traveling. Advertising for kitty cat gaming? Yeah, sort of. If I wear this one, then for sure. <laughs> I think, yeah, this one even says KKG on the back. Okay. Uh, so we reconstructed the scene. Were you able to try out Sweet Cup in LA? What's that, Sweet Cup? I don't know that. So I guess not. So I got a hint. Is that all I needed here? I was in my journal, maybe? Can I... Hmm. Um, in an abandoned warehouse, I found a partly submerged tunnel that leads to the bootlegger's territory. Oh. Mm, that's not it. Cat allows me the en allows me entrance to the Hawkins warehouse in exchange for a debt that she'll collect on at some point in the future. Gang of bootlegger occupies the warehouse. Oh, yeah. Um... Okay. Oh, I have two CP. That just reminds me of uh, fucking Overwatch when I say that. Needs three. I think that's what I was putting points in. Yeah. 
Bum, bum. Validate. Yes. Oh, these are all the characters. Sarah Hawkins. Charles Hawkins. Clues. I think we got a clue. This? Hawkins Warehouse. Officially unused since Charles Hawkins' death. This warehouse recently housed a clandestine... Clandest, clandestine? How do you say that? Resident. Signs of life attest to the fact. The presence of bloodstained bandages must also be noted. Probably removed from a wound as well as pills, painkillers, and sleeping pills. Moreover, the occupant seems to be obsessed with Sarah Hawkins as attested by the presence of several documents connected to the artist's life. Hi. It is the discovery of a partly charred painting recognized by Officer Bradley's having come from the Hawkins mansion that allows all doubt to be lifted as the link between the contents of this building and the Hawkins case. After you investigate the painting, I think you can just leave to advance. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, and this is the bottle we found. Okay. <laughs> Quiet's like, you're not petting me enough. Settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Hi. Detective Pierce, <laughs> I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Oh, fuck. Let's team up! You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. Mr. Pierce. Be taken for a fool. Fuck. All right, Inspector Lestrade. <laughs> Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange portrait. Wait, I know it. Let me guess. Hey, buddy. In the Hawkins mansion. Precisely. You can still see the burn marks. There's no doubt about it. So he took it and from the manor. I must admit that you seem fairly competent. But I can't allow you to stay here. I've seen enough. It's the Hawkins mansion that interests me now. Of course. Oh, his voice. You want to go back along his trail. So good. <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. His face. Andrews, Damn. Would you please shut the door? And open your eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. Mm-hmm. Hey, cat. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Cat Baker? Officer Bradley. Caitlin? You've finally Maybe? grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why, you... Holy Come fuck. on. Keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. <gasps> is that okay, what she did? I get it. Is that why we his face is mansion. fucked up? She I fucked him I'd up. I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed. But we'll meet again. <laughs> we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? Yes. That's the Hawkins Mansion. Come on, we got some Answer driving. time. Firebird, have a nice night. Achievement unlocked. Strange high house. Pierce managed to get into the warehouse. The place thought to be abandoned revealed some surprises. Signs of recent occupation as well as a partly charred painting. Interrupted in his searching by Officer Bradley, Pierce convinced him to join his investigation. It worked. Uh, police officer is willing to drive the detective to the Hawkins mansion. <laughs> Do you see the building? Do you hear that music cue? <laughs> Man, seven to eight hours? Fuck. In my head, I'm thinking like how I'm gonna cut up the streams, and when and how I'm gonna stream.
Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. Movie night tomorrow. Who's excited? The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Okay. That's a lot of... A lot of options. Your partner, Andrews, warned me against him. You managed to get something out of that bomb? I'll end up asking you for advice. He talks too much. Overheating he issues with the camera? heard that old Silas no. was slightly unhinged. That's not far off the mark, I suppose. But kind of unfair at the same time. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I, I can remember. Cabin in the Woods like one? Son to him. Maybe? Is that right, Fritz? Fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way, he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? I want to ask you all the things, dude. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't Cabin you? in the Woods one. Nice. So tomorrow, Cabin in the Woods. Contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? I have other questions. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find Gavin in the woods. <laughs> the yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. <laughs> hey, Peter. You've already begun to nose around, it would seem. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Um... I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, so he, he got dangerous. that scar from Cat. Since the tragedy, it. he's been a little touched. Cat's a Though, tough girl. He's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go, right? Okay. Night falls quickly here, and I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. <laughs> Do you want to know how I got these size. scars? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, sure. Why not? You can help. Yeah. Right. Let's go. Um, there was something about him. Here we go. This hick cop likes order and justice. Dun dun. Uh, he's no great sleuth, but he seems more inclined than his colleagues to discover the truth in the Hawkins case. Inhabitants of the island seem to be friendly with him. He could help me in my investigation. Nothing about the scar. It goes all the way up to his ear. Fuck, dude. Gang boss. Boss of a gang of bootleggers. Seems to use dark water as a hideout. Cat always keeps an eye on her territory. Have to have the impression that all the men on dark water fear her. Even Mitchell, the owner of the stranded whale. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we're going that way. What? What about? There's so much to see. Oh. No, there's not. Okay. I, I'm I'm sure I'll go there. I'll get there later. I feel like I'm playing Dark Souls. Excuse me. 
What's with the ominous music? Someone must really hate Charles Hawkins. Because the things you. are destroyed? Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective. Does this place inspire any thoughts? I'm sure it does. Do you know if Charles Hawkins had any enemies? Not to our knowledge. Not to our There's knowledge. No respected personality on the island. I don't understand. Silas would never have let such a thing happen. Why were they buried here? I was given the belief that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too clear. Webster? What a this name. Is Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Hmm. Let's go. I've seen to enough. Him. Please give me a minute. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. Oh, dude. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? I, I don't know. see Silas doing The flowers it. on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. Flowers. The old caretaker <laughs> must be very attached to her. Okay, dude. Well, I'll give you your moment. Poor kid. Simon Hawkins. Oh. Um, where to, dude? This way. So you gonna stay there? <laughs> Flowers. <laughs> Man. How nice would it be to live in a fucking castle like this? Ah, the game's safe though. This is like a good cutoff point. Because we're right in front of the mansion. I want to go longer, but my voice hurts. And I'm kind of worried that I'm going to fuck up my voice for the rest of the week. Plus, I only took like a nap and I kind of just need to sleep. I'm hoping like the Monday stream... We can start at 10 and then we'll stream like two hours, two and a half, take a little break, have some tea or something, and then do another two and a half, maybe? Two? It would be nice if I could pull off like four or five hour streams. Imagine the upkeep for the house. Oh yeah, you need like a full team staff. Think about the heating costs. Back in the, those days, they didn't really have that, did they? They would just probably have fireplaces. Nanashi, thank you. I always get ill after flying. Yeah, I hope I don't. I don't think I will. It's not too bad, but um, I might have to get some stuff in my throat tomorrow. And I have to just do groceries and everything. I haven't done anything in this house today. Except like some laundry and a little bit of things. I'm being tired. If you did think of getting a giant place, you can totally hire me to cook and clean. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind, Amaya. You want to come to Europe? <laughs> Game's coming in the mail tomorrow. Ooh, nice. Ginger honey lemon tea. Yeah, I would get green tea, then put freshly squeezed lemon in it, and then some honey. I think I'll do that. I think my, my throat will like that. Uh, I see. There's no sound here. Um, I've been listening to that KDA song nonstop. That one... Pop song for the new skins of some game. I don't even know what. Let's see if this still works. The credits, baby. There they are. Thank you. Donations. Fruits. Thank you so much, Fruits. Really helps me out. Thank you. Skull, Charlie, Piske, Nanashi, Fox, Ocelot, Stephanie, Geeky, Chell, Gum, Arachne, Grove, Faith, and Ed. Thank you so much for the bits, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone who found me today and followed. Thank you so much. I'm glad you guys found me. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to switch it up. I think next stream is going to be a hog. Maybe both. Maybe we'll do hog and Call of Cthulhu. That might be a good idea. Switch it up. Blades, Brenda, Geeky, Cosmic... Uh, Amaya, Ketil Ketilio, Ninja, Trill, 
Lupita, Foxtail, Cunningham, Ori, Philium, Lullabies, Annie B, Kid, Kira, Cosmics, Danny, Sheena, Sean, Writing, Brats, Rowan, Monkey, Mango, so many names, Rude, You, Callium, Fort, Framing, Bloody Nine, Rich, Zeliazo, Arachne, and Murusarachan. Thank you so much for subbing and resubbing. <laughs> Suck my D, please. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> uh, where is it? Mm. <laughs> Elvis, suck my D. Uh, fuck, what's it called again? No, wait, I have it saved in my songs, my library. Oh, oh my god, Kelly! Thanks so much for the tier 2 resub! Thank you! 30 months! Oh, thank you so much, babe! La 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 